Thanks for logging on to NeoWeather.com on this Friday, August 23rd, 2013. I'm Jim Sullivan with your video forecast. We're waking up, and as of 9 o'clock, the rain is shifting off to the southeast. We're drying out. The sun is also starting to come out as clouds shift to the south. Temperatures as of 9 sitting in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Taking a look at the entire country now, we have a cold front over the middle Atlantic stretching west towards the Ohio Valley. And that's pushing off to the south. There could be some showers and storms along and ahead of that today. Could be some showers and storms near the Gulf Coast. We have a little system spinning around down there. No major tropical development expected out of that. We have a warm front sitting across the plains. Could be some showers and thunderstorms along and ahead of that. And a system will head towards the northwest this weekend. And there could be some rain along with that as well. Elsewhere, pretty quiet. Coming back to Cleveland, looking at the numbers yesterday, we did 85 and 68, which was rather warm, especially compared to what we've been seeing of late. We had a little bit of rain yesterday. We'll be dry today and a little bit closer to average temperature-wise today as we set the sun at 814. We're losing daylight quickly now. Behind the cold front we were talking about that went through. It'll be a little cooler today. Temperature's still pushing 80. It'll be less humid You'll notice the difference tonight, though, as temperatures away from the cities and the lake drop into the 50s for lows tonight. So that leaves your forecast for Friday looking very nice. Highs in the upper 70s to near 80 as we decrease the clouds through the day. Drier conditions than yesterday. Tonight, very refreshing. Good sleeping weather lows in the low to mid 50s. If you're heading to the Tribe game tonight, they're playing good baseball again, and they have the Twins in town this weekend. Weather not a factor. Mainly clear, temperatures falling through the 70s as the game wears on with light breezes, that's it. Looking ahead now, and unfortunately I can't show you a nice representation of the weather pattern over the next week. Anything that has a data source from the National Weather Service of late has been unreliable. That's the case this morning as well, so I'm going to show you this static image. We're going to get a large, unseasonably large ridge of high pressure to build over the central U.S., Next week, and we're going to be on the northeastern fringes of it, so that means we will get warm, but we probably won't be quite as hot as areas just to our west will be, and we could also see some storm chances through next work week. On to your seven-day forecast now. A very nice weekend lies ahead. Not too many clouds, temperatures in the low 80s, overnight lows in the 50s, so a very nice weekend all around. We start increasing the heat as we head towards Monday, and we stay warm through at least next Thursday. There could be a front hanging around in that time frame, which makes the temperature forecast a little bit tough, and it also allows for some storm chances to arrive. I do think it'll rain at some point between Monday night and Thursday. We'll try and time it a little better as we get closer. Again, I'm Jim Sullivan. Thanks for logging on. Check us out again tomorrow.